And Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt met this morning with several charitable organizations and social services groups to discuss their challenges and the way forward as they continue to provide for the less fortunate and the vulnerable around the island. And during an interview with GIS after the meeting, the Prime Minister explained that the meeting served to open the doors of communication. We requested a meeting with them, with the various um, service providers, institutions which provide care to children, um, the elderly and the disabled and the less fortunate, the vulnerable groups in our society. Because we know of the challenge of caring for the vulnerable groups and the idea was to hear from them uh, how things are, uh, what are the challenges they're experiencing and how they believe that the government can assist. Skerritt noted that one of the areas in which the government will assist is to provide staff members of these institutions with specific training necessary to do their jobs. What we've come to do is to do three major things. One, to provide training for all of the employees of those institutions and the state will underwrite the cost of the training. And we have you to provide certification to those um, um, trainings. And he informed that he has advised the Ministry of Social Services to collaborate with the Dominica State College to produce a module for these training sessions. The Prime Minister then addressed the issue of structural upgrades for these institutions. Third, secondly, is to provide direct financial support to addressing some of the uh, challenges with the facilities themselves. So, for example, the infirmary has a major water problem leakage of the pipes and so forth and um, they need to replace doors and frames and tile the bathrooms and so forth we will underwrite the cost the infirmary for example has an issue not, sorry the grotto hope needs about 20,000 to finish up the facility at um, Belvira and we'll underwrite the, the cost of those things so the number of institutions that have challenges in terms of capital works the uh, Operation Youth Quick is doing a farm and they want some support there for the farm and additional furniture will underwrite the cost of that. And the final major area of discussion was funding for the day-to-day -day operations. And the second, third thing is the recurrent cost. Because I know of the challenges that they have sometimes. In, while the government provides a, 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 a subvention, Sometimes, in many instances, the subvention is not sufficient, and they have to be soliciting support from the private sector and civil society. But that support is not in a consistent manner, so it is not a commitment for an every month um, subvention in some cases. According to Skerritt, the government's intention is to minimize on those challenges. He stressed, however, that the government cannot eliminate all challenges for everyone because the state cannot cover everything, but it can fill a gap. And the hope is to have that support dispersed within the next week. The Prime Minister also informed that another recommendation is that these facilities come together to get insured.